Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to hopefully show you guys how to resolve the Windows cannot start this hardware device code 19 error. Configuration information has been damaged. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process you guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start this tutorial off by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on runner's administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you'd be able to easily restore your registry back. So in order to create the backup, just go ahead and left click on the file tab, select export, file name usually adds to just naming it the date in which you're making the backup, save it in a convenient location on your computer, and export range should be selected to all. Just go ahead and select the save button to save the change, and if you ever need to import it back in, very simple as well, just go ahead and left click on the file tab, and then left click on import, and just navigate over to the file wherever it may be on your computer. And now in the description video, I'm going to have a path to the registry entry that we want to go into. So just copy the path from my description, should start with HK local machine. Delete this top address bar, so whatever's in here, just delete it. Paste in this path that again, it will be in the description of the video. And then hit enter on your keyboard. This is a shortcut to get us directly to the registry key that we're looking to work in today. The first value should say default value not set. You want to go double click on that. In value data, you want to go type in keyboard, all lowercase, so again, K-E-Y-B-O-A-R-D. Left click on OK. And now you want to double click on the upper filters value. Double click on that. Now you want to make sure it is as it appears on my screen here, so KBD class. C-L-A-S-S, -S. so KBD, C-L-A-S-S, -S. we're in this value data field. Once you have it as it appears on my screen, go ahead and left click on OK. Please note if you get any little pop-up after you're done saving that, this says it cannot contain empty strings. Go ahead and left click on OK, don't worry about that. We're just to make sure anything that was in there before, delete it and just make sure it's now it says KBD class. Now once you've done that, now you can go ahead and open up the start menu, so close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the keyboard section, so you double click on it or left click on the next to it. And now right click on the keyboard listener to here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for driver software. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the one that shows up here and then select next. Once it's done, it should say Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Click on Close. You will have to restart your computer for this to take effect, so go ahead and left click on OK. Restart your computer, and hopefully I should have been able to address your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.